We have a five from uh, Scott McKenzie says, uh, thank you to you and your fam and team. Great Dallas meetup and appreciate the hope and encouragement uh, you do on your streams and social media. Stay the course. Scott McKenzie, you got it, brother. And I appreciate that 12 months as well being a little Mac. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, it's uh, – stay the course is it's obvious. I mean, look, dudes <laughs> – I said it in my last, my, my little statement video that, you know, we put out. It's a lot of folks can't get used to the professionalism. And I mean, it's not really an option for them. It's not a choice. They're going to have to. Uh, but yeah, stay on the course is important. I mean, I've worked my tail off to build this company. I've worked my tail off to build the brand. I've worked my tail off to just get to where I'm at today. And it would be very foolish, stupid even, to try to throw it away or to throw it away just doing things that are totally unnecessary and ill-advised, for lack of better terms. Um, so staying the course, being focused is a no-brainer. It's not really an option. It's what I have to do. It's my responsibility. You know, the Ripperverse, it's a company that is a well-oiled machine. But everybody here knows that being me being the leader here, it's a lot of that trajectory is going to be determined by how I move, for lack of better terms. And... Yeah, it's it's got to be like that. So I have to take it serious, not just for myself, for the sake of the company, which means the livelihoods of those that are working for the company. You know, and, and really, I, I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you. It's kind of hard to, it was initially, to conceptualize that, right? You know, you think definitely when you move with a, a lot of independence, like I have, you don't necessarily understand like how many people <laughs> depend on how you move. That was a crazy thing, you know, and it was a harsh reality it a re it, it, because it, it makes me have to be more responsible. And I'm not going to pretend like I always operated like that. I know that, yeah, I got my own family to worry about, and I know that I may have a couple of people that were working for me. Definitely over the years, I had video editors and such. So you understand it, but with the Ripperverse, you really understand it because you get to see the layers of it, right? You get to say, you get to see not just the people on the back office side of things, right? And you get to know them, you get to learn about them. You know, we have we almost two years under our belt here uh, at, at the river as far as you guys knowing about it. It's been around longer than that because of the stuff that we were doing for ISOM before we launched, right? So you had people that had been around like Carol's of the world that were already here. But, you know, we launched and, and, and I have to get all these other people involved and, and you, you really start to see them and how their lives have changed over the last couple of years as well. And it, it just really puts things into perspective, dude. And I'm not going to sit. That, that was part of my growth as well. It's like, dude, you're no longer just moving for yourself and your family. Um, you have people that depend on this how successful right this company is or not for that matter and it's i don't know man it, it was really a come to jesus moment for me you know it's like dude you got to you got to take that into consideration so that's what i do and it, it's it's still i'm always learning right i'm always trying to become a definitely a better professional for sure um but it's why, to your point, Scott, staying the course is so vital, so important, and why making sure that my presence, no matter where I'm at and what I'm doing, is taken into consideration uh, the fa the lives and the, the livelihood, excuse me, of the people that work for the company. And like I was talking about with the layers, you got the back office folks that you guys maybe they'll see are a little more front facing, but then you have the guys that you don't see. 
all the time. Like you may see them in like a video of some of the people that work at the warehouse, right? That really make this thing go around. They, they depend on this. So that's something that I've taken very, I've taken heart and I've take, I take very seriously. And I get that it's not necessarily as attractive for people that would much rather have me be a unprofessional gullible person. And I'm not going to dive into the, you know, uh, obviously people know what's going on with my previous video. And I'm not going to dive into that um, much because I don't have much to add outside of the video, right? This is why I said that's the public statement. I, there's not going to be not much I'm going to say outside of that. But it, it was interesting seeing uh, over that. And I, I saw Riververse Gold Post and some other people brought this up as well, where they're like, what these guys wanted from Eric was an es escalation. Um, and they're mad that they didn't get it. And that, that's very, very true. Um, and obviously, obvious. <laughs> it's, you're not going to get that. And it's funny, like the whole, I don't know, man, it is very childish. Um, and maybe that would have worked when I was 16 years old. But this whole like, well, he's, you're not no thug. You're not a gangster. No, I'm not. You got me there. Congratulations. No, I'm not. Um, uh, and I don't handle things like much. Maybe that's how you'd want me to handle it. And that'd be great for Internet um, videos and, and, and drama and for me to risk everything and put myself in jail or risk going to prison, losing this business. Therefore, again, failing the people that work for me, my customers and everything else. Um, you're correct. I am not any of that. I'm a regular individual. Um, that is uh, becoming a better professional day in, day out. And that's how I move. And that's how I will move. And as I've said before, if there, this is my preference, right? Everything still applies. As far as me welcoming people that if you are, and oftentimes it may be off of misunderstanding, but if you are one of those people that have some um, things that you want to discuss, I am wide open about that. If you want to maybe go to a fan expo, if you want to go to a meetup, obviously you got to remain respectful. You got to remain cordial. That's sort of the point. But I would love to meet you and look you in the eyes and talk with you, um, whether you're a fan or, or not. And, and for the people that aren't, I think that that will be important even for you to kind of see how we operate. You see how we are probably not the guys that you want us to be. And that not only applies to myself and the members of the company, uh, but also the fans. And um, perhaps you'll come out that like, oh, these guys ain't so bad. I mean, we've had people that have done that. Like, hey, man, I came around. I, I got introduced to you by a friend or whatever. I'm not going to lie. I was on the fence. But, man, after spending some time with you guys, we, 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 you're cool. You're cool. We like you. I'm gonna buy some comics. Like that's 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 a preferable scenario, where you can come out of this having to really got to know people outside of what people maybe want you to believe. So yeah, by all means, if you are remaining respectful and remaining cordial, come to an event, man. Come say what's up. Um, holler at us. Just do it right. I don't, I, it's just I don't think that's an unreasonable thing. Um, now, don't get me wrong. As you know, if those just base requirements, just being a decent human being, aren't aren't met, well, you got to understand. There's going to be nobody owes you a conversation at, at with with stuff like that. However, if you are remaining respectful, you are remaining cordial and you are doing things the right way, you can meet everybody at the meetups. And it's oftentimes not just the Riververse, obviously, it's other people as well. So you get to meet Gary, you get to meet a lot of people in our corner of the Internet and, and, and find out who these individuals are. And you will find, um, which is a common theme that we get from people, uh, is that, man, you guys are genuine authentic people and that's what it's about so come meet us come holler at us pull up to one of the events and get to know people 
Um, it is very easy to be, you know, falling into this whole divisive nonsense um, and narratives that people want to be true so bad about folks. And I encourage you to look them in the eye and actually talk with them. And maybe you'll find that they're not that bad. And everybody can do better there, um, that, including myself. So clip, clip and snip, snip.